Look, <clears throat> this is uh, Don Victor here for the Core 80. I have this light behind me, uh, which I'll take care of in a second. Um, so today's Core 80, number 14, down in the house. Uh, let me just say um, we had our first uh, uh, instructional Thursday today, which went awesome. Uh, we had a couple new recruits, a couple new students in here. Uh, we had an amazing, amazing time and uh, grew in knowledge and power and awareness and self-awareness um, and understanding what it is, what is our purpose, what is our call, what is uh, the reason why we do what we do, how are we to be profound. And so, um, uh, so I want to show you a piece that I'm working on today. Uh, one of my pieces and uh, just give you a little insight into my process and, uh, and my storytelling and my design work. So on that note, let's get into the analysis. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me step on back so you can see this. Call this the ascension to victory. This is the design. It's within a, within a square rectangle, just like all of the other rectangles here, squares. Um, this is a root three breakdown. So it's four root three inside of this square that gives me the uh, armature that I'm looking for. But uh, let's get into the story first. <clears throat> Here is the uh, one of the original sketch layouts. The story basically is uh, all of these uh, images up on my wall here are all dreams and visions that I've had regarding uh, mainly family, lineage, purpose, uh, the academy, you know, right now, this is called the Black Tower Dream. Uh, <clears throat> that's actually a collection of about two or three different dreams. But uh, that's called the Black Tower, and it's really a place that broadcasts out design. I had that dream, I started having that dream probably around 14 years old. Um, especially when I got to my college years, uh, I, I always envisioned a, a design consortium that would... Uh, project out solid design and composition skills uh, throughout the earth. And so you can see the the sky has energy to it because that's broadcasting out. Now where I'm at right now, I'm calling this the Black Tower because this is what we're doing, baby. We're talking composition and design. We're broadcasting it out to the world. So that dream that I had when I was about 14 is starting to come to pass. Here is the, uh, this is a very powerful dream. Uh, that I had years ago about, uh, well, I'll just keep that one to myself for right now, actually. <clears throat> um, so there's all of these, all of these visions and dreams here. So this one here, about two years ago in my life, I came to a place, I came back from Alaska, and I had my apartment robbed, uh, all my computers were stolen. They even stole my art easel and my art uh, files, you know, those big heavy drawers. Um, and so all that stuff was stolen that week. My car, like, got just destroyed. Uh, lost my employment relationship. So just, like, within about a week to two weeks, everything in my life was just stripped away. Just whoosh, ripped away. And uh, it was about a week before my birthday. So when my birthday came, I was... I was uh, broken and broke, <laughs> and just basically I was sleeping on my ex-wife's uncle's couch in his basement, and I was just laying there, and that's basically when I changed my name from Aladdin to Victor. I said, okay, this is, this is the time. And so what's interesting is during this time, a lot of people were very concerned for me because... It just looked like my life was falling apart. And I had this vision of a snake going up a hill. And as it was going up the hill, its dead skin was pulling off. 
And I felt that almost all the people around me were staring at the dead skin, saying, oh, Dino, Aladdin, you know, what's going on, you know? And they were missing the miracle that was happening at the time in my life, which was the old was being stripped away so that the new, the Don Victor, could rise, could ascend and come out of the old, come out of the ashes. Now, because I had this vision, I was motivated. I had the enthusiasm. I had the passion to keep focused on the purpose, no matter my circumstances. And so this is what this dream means. Now you can see I have some energy flowing through there. So now what happens is I have these huge, huge grids that I'm uh, playing with. And um, and so what we're, what we're what, let me share what we're seeing because now the image has evolved. <clears throat> this down here, you can see that it's composed, it's designed in these circles, okay? And the reason why is because I want you, when you look at that area of the image, I want you to feel it's constricted, it's pressured. It has pressure coming down. You see the, the, the arcs coming down onto the snake. Um, it's confined. It's limited. It's dead. Now, if you look up here, you can see I put the circle for the sun. I placed it. And um, Hold on here. I'm going to lose my battery soon. Um, and so... I curved all of these angles to allow it to send a frequency out when you visual when you when you're looking at it visually to apply that pressure that that pressure that's coming down onto this dead snake. Now, out of the dead snake over here comes the living snake, the new snake. Now, he's going to fade away a little bit because when when you look at this painting, I don't want you to see I don't want you to see him right away. I want you, hold on one second. I'm gonna put my charger in. Come on. I don't want you to see the, the live snake right away. I want you to focus on the dead snake. I want you to feel the pressure of the dead snake. And then, and then the second story behind the story, you end up discovering what? There's a whole nother living snake there. And notice the energy, the, the frequency, the vibe that surrounds that snake. That's, that's, the, uh, that's an energy of a resurrection, of a phoenix, of a rising, uh, uh, of an ascension. Where, where, where the sun comes down, it's pulling you down. It's a pressure. It's a, it's a weight. It's a suppression. And then the constriction of the dead snake. And so this is what I want it to broadcast when, when I'm uh, composing it. So that when the person who owns it at the end, you know, say uh, a fella, he gets this image and he puts it up in his office. A fella could be a woman or a man or a transgender, I don't give a shit. Uh, but he puts this image up and he has to make a deal. And his mind is getting, he's feeling the pressure of this life. He's feeling the pressure of the deal. He's feeling the pressure of, you know, the kids are calling, the wife is calling, and, you know, the, the, his partner in the business is calling, and the bills are calling, and he's feeling the constraints and the pressures of this world, of, of his life, and he needs a moment to reflect and remember he's ascending. And so when he looks at this image, if I design it properly, it ought to trigger in him that emotion. He should uh, recognize where he's at, and then the image should change his charge. It should change that, that negative ion to positive ion. It should raise his emotions. It should raise his vibration, his frequency. That's what we are composing at the Academy. That's how we approach art making. There's a function to the images. It's just not for pretty pictures to put on a, a refrigerator. We're not painting pretty pictures. We're creating... Uh, functional uh, uh, artifacts that actually resonate with the viewer and actually trigger emotional st uh, states of mind. And so I want you to feel two stories. One, that 
the, 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 the constriction of the death of this life is, is there, but it also provides opportunity for hope and ascension if you're willing to go through uh, the process, if you're willing to keep moving forward, keep moving upward. And so, uh, so that's how this all works. All right. On that note, I'm going to cut this one short just because my battery is dying out. Have a great day. And uh, again, please share this video with your Facebook uh, friends, uh, your artist friends. If you're interested in the Core 80, becoming part of the Core 80, message me. Um, or if you're interested in understanding thrust maps and how you can like improve your compositions right now, like by the end, before you go to bed today, go to starthere.donvictormc.com, sign up. And I'll give you the thrust map uh, lesson for free. Go ahead and apply that to your artwork and watch your mind change. Uh, you'll never see art the same way again. All right. Until next time. Well, next time is tomorrow. So until tomorrow, arrivederci. Ciao.